There is something that sets Sweden apart from most countries in Europe. The labour market conflicts can be quite brutal in many countries. Not so much in Sweden. Things are running quite smoothly by way of the Swedish model, keeping a fair labour market with competitive companies. Of course, there is discontent and disagreement, even in Sweden. It's never a walk in the park, but it lands in collective agreements that are respected and upheld. There are around 650 collective agreements in Sweden, renegotiated every two or three years. Every negotiation round starts with the parties in the most internationally oriented industries. Their agreement has a normative role for all other agreements. Peace obligation is mandatory when the agreement is signed. This creates stability and predictability in the labour market. Employees can keep their wages up and companies can keep themselves competitive. And it is all done by free will. It's a system that demands and rewards responsibility. The Swedish labour market model is based on the concept of social partners taking responsibility seeking to agree on the rules of the labour market by negotiations. This will to compromise didn't appear overnight. It has grown organically for well over a century. Unions and employer organisations found that the advantages in negotiating a deal was better than being in constant conflict with each other. Politicians started liking and rewarding the collective agreements, and sometimes pushing the parties to come to long-term deals that could stabilise the labour market. The social partners regulate wages, employment conditions, health and safety at work, transitions, occupational pensions, insurances and much more. It's a system based on social trust. A model like this creates grounded solutions based on the people and companies involved and affected and it allows the social partners to respond quickly to any challenges that may arise. But as such, it is sensitive to outside involvement. It's not without imperfections, but moving more power to the outside of the model would have a negative effect for sure. It would break the inner workings that the model needs to stay alive. <laughs>